for today is about solving word problems using the taking away model approach. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret and represent the taking away concept in subtraction using models. Question number one. A florist has 98 flowers. After selling some flowers, she is left with 28 flowers. How many flowers does she sell? Let's break down the question and understand it. A florist has 98 flowers. Do we know the number of flowers the florist have? Yes, the florist has 98 flowers. After selling some flowers, she is left with 28 flowers. Do we know the number of flowers she sells? No. What do we know is she is left with 28 flowers. How many flowers does she sell? The question asks us to find out the number of flowers she sells. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Let us draw a rectangle to represent the 98 flowers the florist have. From this rectangle, we will take a set to represent the number of flowers she sells, which is unknown. The remaining part is the rectangle that will represent the number of flowers left, which is 28. Can you see that the number of flowers she sells is equal to 98 minus 28? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The number of flowers she sells is equal to 98 minus 28. Let us show 98 in the place value chart. 98 has 9 tenths. 8 ones. Let us subtract 28 from 98. Let us subtract the ones. Subtract 8 ones from 8 ones. Let us subtract the tens. Subtract two tens from nine tens. Ninety-eight minus twenty-eight is equal to seventy. Hence, she sells seventy flowers. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From the answer, we know that she sells 70 flowers. From the question, we know that she is left with 28 flowers. The number of flowers the florist have is equal to 70 plus 28. 70 plus 28 is equal to 98. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, our answer is correct. Question number two. Lena has 401 game cards in her shop. She sells 212 game cards. How many game cards does she have left? Let's break down the question and understand it. Lena has 401 game cards in her shop. 
Do we know the number of game cards Lena have in her shop? Yes, she has 401 game cards. She sells 212 game cards. Do we know the number of game cards she sells? Yes, she sells 212 game cards. How many game cards does she have left? The question asks us to find out the number of game cards she have left. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Let us draw a rectangle to represent the 401 game cards in Lena's shop. From this rectangle, we will take a set to represent the 212 game cards that Lena sells. The remaining set will represent the number of game cards left, which is unknown. Can you see that the number of game cards she have left is equal to 401 minus 212? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The number of game cards left is equal to 401 minus 212. Let us show 401 in the place value chart. 401 has four hundreds. Zero tens, one ones. Let us subtract 212 from 401. Let us subtract the ones. Since two ones is greater than one one, let us regroup the tens and ones. Since we have zero tens, let us regroup the hundreds and tens. One hundred is equal to ten tens. Let us regroup the tens and ones. One ten is equal to ten ones. Ten ones plus one ones is equal to eleven ones. Let us subtract two ones from eleven ones. Let us subtract the ten. Subtract one ten from 9 times. Let us subtract the hundred. Subtract two hundreds from three hundreds. So, 401 minus 212 is equal to 189. Hence, she has 189 game cards left. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From our answer, we know that she has 189 game cards left. From the question, we know that she sells 212 game cards. The number of Lena's game cards is equal to 189 plus 212 189 plus 212 is equal to 401 this is consistent with the value given in the question therefore our answer is correct now is your chance to challenge yourself and solve this word problem Check out my Facebook page for the correct answer. That's all for today, kids. Always remember, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Keep on learning. Bye!